Harry's wife. 92.1 I am the truth. Hello, dear Tudorites, and welcome to 2022. Perhaps you thought, well, HG's had his fill of the Empress of Woke, and isn't going to talk about her any longer. I know many of you in the comments, and those of you that have taken the time to email me, expressed a concern that somehow the Ultra had been silenced. Oh, ye of little faith. I appreciate your concern that you thought that the legions of Sugardom had attempted to silence your glorious narrator, but of course that isn't going to happen. No, your glorious narrator took a well-earned break, ensconcing himself in a delightful barn conversion, festooned with appliances left, right, and centre, of, of whose fuel I drank deep, and asserted control most readily. Largely in a benign way. Yes, the ultra was Santa Claus, doling out joy left, right, and centre. Although, of course, there were a select few who had to know their place and had to understand that they had been conquered. And, of course, after all, it has to be Christmas for the ultra also, with some malign behaviours. But that's all by the by, as here we are now in 2022, and having taken a little break to deal with Christmas and all of its jollities, and of course address various professional obligations that I have, I'm back in the saddle. And of course, whilst I have been about other matters, the Empress of Woke, the High Priestess of Monte Shitcho, has continued to clutter up news lines. So, there will be content in this video that will be a few days, maybe a week or so old, but nevertheless merits observation, because as ever, we utilise this prominent example for the purposes of helping you understand why Harry's wife behaves in the way that she does, and also to extend your knowledge about narcissism. We therefore turn to a couple of news articles that came across your glorious narrator's desk, which turned on the concept of Harry's wife being the truth. And an article was generated in The Independent, which stated that Virginia Giuffre's lawyer suggests calling Harry's wife to testify in Prince Andrew case. Of course, over the Christmas break, you'll be aware that Ghislaine Maxwell was convicted of various counts and finds herself currently staying in Chokey, where, subject to sentencing, she may remain until the end of her days. There is, of course, some suggestion that she will appeal against the conviction, and we'll have to see how that plays out. Of course, Pris Andrew sits there with squeaky bun time, with the fact that his erstwhile friend, Ghislaine, is loitering behind bars, now with a conviction, and Virginia Giuffre's lawsuit continues, despite the attempt that Prince Andrew launched to have it knocked out on the basis that she is a non-dom in the United States, and then recently with the opening up of the terms of the settle agreement between Jeffrey Epstein and Virginia Giuffre. Of course, the judge's comments didn't seem overly favourable to the application that was made by Prince Andrew, and we are waiting that judge's judgment in the next day or so to determine whether the claim will proceed against Randy Andy. And alongside that, of course, comes this headline in an article from Marusha Musavar, which states, Harry's wife is in a position to perhaps have seen what he did, says lawyer David Boyes. The article explains as follows. Harry's wife may be called to depose over legal action against Prince Andrew, said the lawyer, a Virginia Roberts Euphre, who has accused the prince of sexually assaulting her when she was 17. Harry's wife could have some important knowledge, David Boys, the attorney representing Miss Euphre, told the Daily Beast on Tuesday. Mr Boys said he might seek to depose Harry's wife as part of the civil suit slapped against the prince by Miss Euphre and said he believed Harry's wife could be expected to tell the truth. 
Well, has Mr. Boyes been on the crack cocaine, coming out with an observation such as that? He states, She is someone we can count on to tell the truth, Mr. Boyes said, as he sucked deep on the bong. He also believed that she might have picked up some important knowledge about the royal's behaviour. He said Harry's wife was a close companion to Prince Andrew, and therefore probably saw what he did. Sounds remarkably speculative to me. He also cited three reasons for Harry's wife to be a potential deposition subject. One, she is in the United States, so we have jurisdiction over her. Two, she is somebody who obviously, at least for a period of time, was a close associate of Prince Andrew, and hence is in a position to perhaps have seen what he did. And, perhaps if not to have seen what he did, to have heard people talk about it. Because of her past association with him, she may well have important knowledge, and will certainly have some knowledge. 3. She is somebody who we can count on to tell the truth. She checks all three boxes, the lawyer added. Well, of course, this just smacks of a fishing expedition, whereby, assuming that somehow nosy Harry's wife has been lurking around Prince Andrew and has caught him strutting around getting up to no good with underage girls, or forcing people into sexual fandangos with him against their will. It's highly unlikely that Harry's wife will have any such knowledge, but of course it's preying on the, the paranoia that Prince Andrew may be enveloped with to suggest here's someone who might know something about you and we're going to depose her. So of course it seems more like a tactical step to try and pressure Prince Andrew. But of greater interest, of course, is this comment about she is somebody who we can count on to tell the truth. Well, Mr. Boys clearly has been looking in the wrong place, because as we all know from the various examples that cascaded along the news funnel in the course of 2021, time and time again, Harry's wife was a stranger to the truth. As I have explained to you, the narcissist can and will use the truth as you understand it to be if it suits our purposes. So, for example, there might be a situation where there is certain information which you know about and the narcissist knows about, and because it accords with the narcissist's unconscious desire to achieve the prime aims, the narcissist will use it. So, a classic example of that is Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan, a narcissist himself, has repeatedly called out Harry's wife's behaviour, and he's not wrong about that. He hasn't twisted the truth, he's not invented the truth, he has used the truth as is understood by many people based upon her behaviours. And therefore, that is an excellent example of a narcissist using the truth. So, whilst there are those people that think that narcissists lie all the time, that isn't correct. The narcissist will, invariably, if it suits our purposes, utilise what you understand to be the truth for our purposes. Of course, a lot of the time, the truth as you understand it is a threat to our control, doesn't attend to the provision of fuel as we require it, gets in the way with regard to the provision of character traits and residual benefits. And that's why instead the narcissist shifts to the half-truth or a lie, nowhere near the truth. Remember, of course, the unaware narcissist regards it as their truth. The narcissism does not allow them to see that it is a lie. An aware narcissist knows that a lie is being told, but is so skilled at doing so, it isn't an issue. And, with an absence of remorse, conscience or guilt, we are not hampered in telling the lie and doing so repeatedly. Indeed, those of us that are aware narcissists find it hugely entertaining to tell those lies, to see the reaction that it has upon the individual that is the recipient of that lie. Nevertheless, whilst Harry's wife can utilise the truth, a lot of the time, as we have seen through very cogent examples which I have identified, she repeatedly utilises a half-truth and nowhere near the truth. And this is evident. And therefore, for Mr. Boyes to come out with that comment is somewhat ridiculous. How, of course, would that be received by Harry's wife? Well, of course, it would flatter her. 
It would be the provision of fuel, it would demonstrate that Mr. Boyce is under control, and it would add to her facade whereby she thinks that she is a truth-seeking, compassionate, kind and honest individual. The article continues by explaining that Miss Euphre is suing the prince over claims she was forced to have sex with him when she was 17 years old. The prince, however, has denied all allegations. Mr. Boyce confirmed, We would likely take one or two depositions of people close to Andrew who would have knowledge of his actions. That might include his ex-wife. It could possibly be his brother. However, the star attorney said no firm decision had been taken regarding Harry's wife's deposition yet. Mr. Boyes ruled out asking Prince Andrew's mother to depose. I don't think, out of respect and deference and her age, we would seek to depose the Queen. I don't think she's going to have any knowledge that other people don't have. I think that he's unlikely to have spoken as freely to his mother about some of this stuff as he might have to his contemporaries or his ex-wife. Again, that demonstrates the fishing expedition that this clearly is. But it is interesting, of course, to see the way in which an individual believes that Harry's wife is someone who can be counted on to express the truth. She quite clearly cannot. She has given repeated examples through the various behaviours that we have recorded that demonstrate that she is indeed a stranger to the truth as understood by everybody else, that she sees the world differently through the distortion field of her narcissism. And the activity of Mr. Boyes is just the uh, jockeying for position, the tactical steps that a lawyer will take in order to try and pressure the opponent. As at the time of explaining this to you, it appears that no deposition has yet taken place, and perhaps it never will, and it really was just a case of trying to apply some further pressure to Prince Andrew. Nevertheless, it's hugely entertaining to see somebody write in such terms that they believe that Harry's wife can be somebody who can be relied upon to provide the truth, when, of course, her own actions and behaviours demonstrate that clearly is not the case. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>